This is a size comparison of tablets of different sizes from the perspective of an artist. This is an 11 inch tablet, this is 12.4 inch and this is 14.6 inches. Now there are many tablets in this 11 inch form factor. For example, the Xiaomi Pad 5, which is this tablet that I have here. There is also the Samsung Tab S7 and S8. For 12.4 inches, there are the Samsung Tab S7 Plus, S7 FE, and Tab S8 Plus. And this one here is the Samsung Tab S8 Ultra. And this is my A5 size sketchbook for comparison purposes. So if you compare this 11 inch tablet with my A5 size sketchbook, the 11 inch tablet has slightly more drawing area or surface area on the side here, but the size is pretty much similar to this A5 size sketchbook. When compared to the 12.4 the inch tablet, you can see there is a lot more space here, actually for one whole column of palettes and when you compare the sketchbook to the S8 Ultra, the 14.6 inch tablet, you can see there is so much more surface area that you can use for drawing or for the palettes. The drawing app that I have here is Clip Studio Paint and I want to show you this app because with this app you can have palettes on the left side and the right side. So the palettes actually take up quite a good amount of space. On a small tablet it's going to reduce the canvas size to this smaller size. And let's measure the width here. It's about the length of this S Pen. So if we compare the 11 inch to the 12.4 inch, I have maybe 20% more width here. So you get a much larger surface area to work with for drawing. And with the S8 Ultra, the 14.6 inch display, this is maybe 40% more compared to this. So this is really massive. Of course, the bigger the display, the more comfortable it is when it comes to drawing because you can rest your palm on the display. On the small display, if you want to rest your palm on it, you can see that the hand actually blocks off quite a bit of the display, especially um, this area here. On the 12.4 inch tablet, you can still get a good amount of space uh, for your art. And for this, you can really see a lot more of your art. So it doesn't block off much of your art. And that's great. However, these two tablets are what I would consider tabletop tablets. So if you want to draw on them, you would always have to set it on some surface. And they are going to be heavier with a case added. With the 11 inch tablet, you can actually just hold it in hand while you are standing and drawing. Even with a case added, it's still very manageable in terms of weight and portability. The larger displays will also have more resolution to show you more content. So on the 11 inch tablet, I can see six layers. On the 12.4 inch, I can see nine layers. And on the 14.6 inch display, I can see 11 layers. The more resolution you have, the more content you can show. So in this case, if this is a very long list, you don't have to scroll as much compared to on a smaller tablet. On a bigger tablet, you can also pack more palettes into the same column. So with less scrolling and more palettes, this obviously is better for productivity. On a small tablet, if you are using an app with minimal user interface elements, you can still get a good amount of space to work with. Bigger tablets will allow you to use apps with more tools and palettes more effectively. Let's compare the web browsing experience. So on the smaller tablet, this web page is actually laid out differently. You can see one, two, three columns on the bigger tablets, but here there are only two columns. And on the smaller tablet, I can see two stories here. On the 12.4 inch tablet, I can see three and a half stories. And here on this big tablet, I can see four stories. So obviously with the bigger tablet with more resolution, you can see more content.
This is how multitasking looks with two windows side by side. So multitasking definitely is going to work better if your display is larger because again, it allows you to show more content on the display without having to scroll as much compared to a smaller tablet. All right, to conclude, for drawing purposes, the 12.4 inch is a good option in terms of portability and the resolution you get. Personally, when it comes to drawing, I will not go with an 11 inch tablet because I do use apps that require the toolbar and palettes to be on the screen. So in this case, uh, there are palettes on the left and right side and the amount of canvas space that is left with isn't that big. This is smaller compared to the A5 size sketchbook. You can of course hide the UI elements, you can hide the palettes, but you would have to hide and unhide, hide and unhide. It's not that productive compared to using a bigger tablet where you can keep the palettes on display all the time and you still get a good amount of uh, canvas space to work with. The biggest tablet here, the Tab S8 Ultra obviously is a joy to draw on but this is also significantly more expensive compared to the medium sized tablet and of course the small tablet. The Tab S8 Ultra is also noticeably heavier so when drawing on this I actually feel like I'm drawing on a computer monitor or a pen display whereas uh, when drawing on these two smaller tablets I feel like I'm still drawing on tablets. So if you want portability or if you use apps with minimal user interface, you can consider the 11 inch. If you want a good compromise in terms of portability and resolution and size, the 12.4 inch is good. And if you have the budget for this 14.6 um, inch display, the Tab S8 Ultra, go for it. It's a really wonderful experience drawing on this. Actually, it's a great experience drawing on this too. I just don't like to draw on smaller tablets.